a relationship you have with your players that you know what they're gonna do. It looked like, I mean, can you give me another, like a specific play where that comes out? It looked like you and Colin had some rushes, or some, especially on, on run plays, when that was coming out of the day. Uh, it's just more just like we know what's on what our each other's jobs are. So uh, in case that uh, running back cuts to a certain gap, we, there's a little wiggle room that we can make a certain move to make the execution to make that play, knowing which gaps our running back, our linebackers are coming into. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You see things verbalized. I mean, do you guys verbalize that during game? If you see a certain formation, you get hand signals. I mean, how do you guys kind of communicate like pre-snap on something like that? I mean, before they break out of her world. Uh, talk to each other as they look out for these type of scenarios in case of maybe zone week, any type of stretches, or even the screens, which just have that type of communication before the one ball's even snap. And that's coming together more and more. You find that's easier to do at this point? Absolutely. A lot of communication on any team uh, is really great, honestly. Derek, you guys have had quite a swag. You guys have done a really great job. Is there like a switch that you felt there was a point where it just all came up to another level? I wouldn't really say switch. Uh, in a sense, I'll say Denver because you always just got to keep turning that dial more and more and more. As I've always said, it's been our, uh, my mantra is always try to get better and better every single week, every single day. And I feel like that's what this defense has have been doing. What about Tennessee? When you look at them, what challenges do they offer defense? Uh, they have a, a big, strong running back out of Patrick Henry as well as uh, number 30, 33 and um, they when they get started, they can be a problem. So as a defense, we got to be, um, we got to run to the ball. We got to break out a stack. Um, the VA slips on um, cuts from the offensive lineman. You beat the offensive lineman, the running backs have no no gaps to run through. And so it's just playing technique at the end of the day. They got a different quarterback playing now. So you guys are studying, you're studying more of the recent stuff. Uh, off, as far as the offense goes, or you guys still got to go back and look at stuff from Mariota and some of the other parts of the game. Um, have they we, changed it entirely? Uh, for what I've seen, they have, for, of course, the offensive corner has adjust things for the new um, quarterback, Tanner Hill. But um, as a demon, we still got to look at the scheme from the offensive lineman when, ten, when Mariota was still in the game, um, as well as we're still looking at the scheme when Tanner Hill is in the game. So you still got to study film, um, whether if it's Mariota in there or Tanner Hill, just look at the scheme, as well as to see how, how it is with the new quarterback in the game. Derek, you said the preseason you wanted to improve your pass rush, keep your starting spot. How have you uh, evaluated midseason that, you, that you've done so far? Um, I mean, look at stats. I have one sack, so I mean that means something. But uh, in my opinion, I don't feel like that was good enough for me because I kind of barely made it. Even though I did it, I kind of wasn't really satisfied with that. So um, I feel like I have improved my, improved my pass rush to an extent. I'm getting more pressure on the quarterback, um, more vertical push. But in my eyes, it's still not enough. There's just some little inch of I had to push through to get that one better. Uh, for my starting spot, I have kind of established I'm still the starter this whole this whole season. And I'm, I believe I can still keep for the rest of the remaining year. But it's just all based on how I am in practice and on the game field.